Hello, I'm Alan Levine, and since I've been asking everybody else to share their amazing story of openness, it's only appropriate that I do one myself, right? So, this one's about a picture, flicker, a piece of wood, and a pen. So let's talk about Flickr. There's a great soul on Flickr who I've come across the last couple of years. I know her as Winds or Die. Actually, at first I thought her name was Wind Sorty, but then I realized that her name is Die and she's from Windsor, Ontario. But Die is prolific in her commenting on other people's Flickr photos, and I came across her first in our 365 uh, Flickr photo group, 365 Photo Day photo group, and then she also was very active in the daily shoot, as was I, so we were often uh, crossing paths, commenting on each other's photos, etc. But um, everybody knows her that I talk about. Everybody, oh yeah, Windsor Die, she always comments on my photos, so plus one to you, Windsor Die. Anyhow, my story begins last winter, and it was cold here, uh, here in Arizona, yes, where I live, it does get cold. And the summer before, I had an oak tree taken down from just over there, uh, off of my deck. And uh, the oak is very dense, it's very hard. And when I bought some firewood from um, a local fella, and he was delivering it, I was pointing out to him, and he said, oh, we call that blackjack or something like that, because the core of it is really uh, this black solidness, and it's really hard, I couldn't really split it. And I told him that I was really having trouble splitting it, and I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And he said, oh, I'll take it back to my shop. I've got um, a big splitter, and um, he could do it for me. So I end up with this nice pile of uh, the split wood. It's great firewood because it, it's really dense. So, like often I do, it was interesting looking at that pile of wood. And I took a photo and put it on Flickr. And, of course, Windsor Dye came along and commented. And she says... Oh no, don't tell me you're going to burn that. She said, I, I'm a woodworker. I make things out of wood. So she said if I sent her a piece, that she would make me a pen. And she sent me this link to the set, um, her Flickr set, that shows how she um, takes uh, logs and cuts these cores out and turns them and actually makes them into real pens. So um, the wood, and here's a piece right here. Um, this is about what I sent to her, and the things she wanted for were things that had this real dark texture in it, uh, which gave a character, and especially the knot holes, etc. So, um, I mailed from Arizona a piece of wood like this, it's pretty heavy, and sent it to um, Windsor, Ontario. And uh, a couple months later, I got these in the mail. And I don't know if you'll be able to see these up close, but these are beautiful pens, and you can see all the texture uh, from my wood. And uh, this is the uh, this is the fountain pen. I've never used a fountain pen before, but it's pretty nice. It's very smooth, and it writes very well on the paper. And then she also made me a ballpoint pen. See, look at that. Look at that. You, I don't know if you can see that texture there, but that's the wood uh, that uh, came out of my piece of oak that I sent to Ontario, and this nice woman named Di turned them into these pens. And if you ask me, that's pretty amazing. But wait, there's more. I'm about to embark in a couple weeks on my four-month four road trip, and I plan to go through Windsor, Ontario. So Di, I'm bringing you a box of this stuff, and I'm not going to burn it. And it's for you to do with whatever you want, because hey, you're pretty amazing.